Originally, Starscream was a seemingly loyal follower of Megatron. During the latter's return to Earth, he promptly allowed Soundwave to transport their leader back to Earth. He was surprised when he issued back his leadership of the Decepticons, but continued to serve him willingly. His mistreatment at the hands of his master shortly before the destruction of the space bridge caused him to revolt his return. However, against his own wishes, he was forced to bring Megatron back to Earth after being spotted by Laserbeak. As a leader, Starscream more or less carried a similar campaign to Megatron's, only instead being more merciful for failures. Though, he managed to find other ways of punishing his warriors like scratching Knockout's finish when he disobeyed orders. Upon Megatron's regaining of health, Starscream completely lost any type of loyalty to his former master after he viciously beat him for his attempt to kill him. His backstabbing tendencies were carried on by other rogue Decepticons, such as Arachnid, whom tried to convince her Insecticon to kill him after Starscream proposed they team up to overthrow Megatron. Despite getting what he deserved, Starscream never understood why he had difficulties with others. What he failed to realize that his treatment was a direct result of how he treated others and how they felt after dealing with him. In other words, they reacted badly to him because he treated them so badly. He also shows no concern in mistreating or respect for others, like Predaking, Skylinks, Darksteel, Shockwave, and the Autobots. He appeared remorseless for desecrating Skyquake's burial place by reviving the deceased Decepticon as a dark Energon Terracon that was trapped in the Shadow Zone and when Megatron killed Dreadwing, who wanted to seek vengeance on Starscream for desecrating his brother Skyquake by raising him from the dead. Starscream was ruthless, cruel, conniving, selfish, cunning, and above all arrogant. As mentioned before he is traitorous on occasion. When he does something, it is usually for his own personal benefit. His greatest weapon is his cunning and resourceful nature. He also has some sense of honor as he will repay his debts. When he returned to Decepticons, he showed a deep loyalty to Megatron and tried to make him happy. He even seems to give up on becoming the Decepticons' leader. When Megatron was killed, he was ready to recklessly attack enemy to avenge him. When Megatron returned, he still was loyal to him, but when Megatron said he doesn't want to be leader, he decided to take it for himself, but he was hurt by Predacons. After being abandoned by his former master, Megatron, Starscream bears tremendous grudge on him for facing depths of suffering from Megatron's wrath. He become power-hungry as he desired to use the seven weaponized Minicons to power himself up and using Megatron's creation the Dark Star Saber, although Starscream wasn't fully power-up, to exact revenge on Megatron. 